So this is on the bridge of the Enterprise towards the beginning of the movie. I want to look at these bridge screens here. So like this okay. tactical screen here on the left. What left. is... Yeah, what are the... Okay, so we got a big circle. Which... And then we've got three little circles. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And we've got like overlapping things on top of the... Like, how can this... Is this a tactical screen? <laughs> Gosh, I don't know. Actually, I don't know who the tactical officer is on this Enterprise. Well, that's a good point. But I think it's the reasonable place, right? Yeah. And you know, I don't know what this I, is. I actually don't know if it's a tactical screen. I've just seen in like other movies, they have those transparent things where they like write on this with the special markers. Mm -hmm. So I'm just thinking that's that's like battle tactics, but maybe, maybe not. Yeah. Because now no that idea. I'm looking at it, it looks like it's a circuit diagram. He's doing like diagnostics maybe <laughs> me <laughs> yeah i don't know mm, mm. circle okay this is ridiculous but is this like a water tank <laughs> three water tanks because because my first thought would be engines because that's super important for the ship but yep. there shouldn't be three you'd have two nacelles and then the warp core but then why would they be represented all three of the same objects i don't understand that Maybe it's a single nacelle, and there's three things within a single nacelle. But it's... then you need to have two sets of them because there's two nacelles. Maybe he's looking at one at a time. Yeah, it's too much speculation, I think, for that. I... Plus, he's you've got this standing screen, and when mm -hmm. the Enterprise gets hit, people get thrown around in the bridge. Mm -hmm. Let's get that guy sat down. That's right. <laughs> strap or, him. Or, or there's like an emergency evasive maneuver. Just like strap him up against the walls. Or strap him up against the screen. He's like pressed against it. Yeah. <laughs> also possible. No yeah, this little screen. table here, depending on the angle, you may really be able to see stuff. That's true. And then over here by Ahura, she's got... What's she looking at? Looks like waveforms. I think that makes sense. She's communications. She's deciphering right. stuff, looking at waveforms. I think that makes yeah, that's... sense. And then to the right of her is like the situation where the Enterprise is. There's like a star or planet. Okay. Yeah, okay. Maybe. The Enterprise is here. You're getting some signals bounced around. Yeah. So that's like her cool. overview. That kind of makes sense. A nice little, nice little lamp here. That's pretty. That's pretty convenient. Pretty convenient. I don't know what Although, you would be. Able... There's several oh. lamps, and some of them point at yeah. her face. That'd be annoying mm -hmm. as heck. And then the the that reading lamp snake thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like it's kind of made for like if you're writing on the top desktop, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but there's no place to put papers or anything. It's just oh, control gosh. panels. I mean, I guess if these are not pressure sensitive, you could lay it down on top. That's true. Do I want to be laying things down on my controls, even if they're not pressure sensitive? I don't know. And also, I guess if she's laying down like a piece of paper to write on, it's like the only piece of paper on the starship. <laughs> like, that's <laughs> that's, that's right. got to be some contraband stuff, right? Because they, they use like data pads. That's right. And then if you're using data pads, you should just backlight it. Backlight it like a Kindle. Like a Kindle. Cause what is this thing? This reminds me know. of like at, a, at an arcade. Just the, the light goes around. You have to press the timing. Yeah, yeah. Maybe this is the little relax station for people on the bridge. The yeah, little, a little, little game. A little chill time. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to me, that looks like the science station. And so that's a science thing. And the only thing I can come up Good. with is, have you ever used like an old gauge or something? And okay. in, on the old gauge, it's like got a mil like four or five gauges with mm -hmm. the, each little unit system. So yep. you can see multiple gauges at the same time. So that's what I'm seeing there. It's like- So there's like, there's a, there's like an analog needle that like will yeah. rotate around depending on, yeah. I don't know, whatever you're measuring. And yeah. it's like these are different different scales. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. But maybe it's some kind of digital version of that where I can customize it. Yeah, maybe. Very very specialized screen, but what, <laughs> I don't know. What, I don't have another explanation. I mean, it's got to be important because they they've actually changed the shape of the of the I don't know shelf or the, the desk. That's true. That's true. It's designed for this thing. It's designed and it's large. They they broke counter continuity. <laughs> yeah yeah because it needed to be large so it's very important it must be hmm. gosh and look at those things here what are these oh yeah yeah another another over it's got to be overview so if, if guy that guy walking on the bridge right now glances over and he looks mm. at the screen he can get some kind of 
quick overview of the situation. And it's not for Uhura because that's that's too high up. I guess she could yeah. see it if she leans back, but this is this is not. It's not like angled down towards her. Yeah. So this is for everyone. Yeah. I buy so maybe explanation. maybe you walk onto the bridge and you take a glance at everybody's like screens, situation high up, screens, and then you can yep. be like, okay, I know what's going on, and then you can go mm -hmm. to your station and slot right in. Okay. Actually, that's super smart. Because mm -hmm. right? this guy who's walking on the bridge, he can look around at everyone's up up panels, top panels, yeah. top and panels. then figure out what everyone's doing. And like, okay, yep. okay, I know what the okay. situation okay. is. Go back to my thing. Mm -hmm. I like it. That's clever. Plus, it looks cool. So looks dope. Looks cool. Okay, the thing I don't like about this though is imagine being Uhura and working like this is your work environment. This is your your cubicle. This is where you're signed, and you just constantly have someone watching over your back, <laughs> like. Oh, right. this, yeah, this guy's because this is a see-through see-through screen it's like plexiglass or whatever mm -hmm. just constantly watching like, you're like let like, me wants a text or text message like, yeah. you can't you can't <laughs> the guy behind me is like hey get back to work it's like <laughs> yeah yeah i want to waste time i want to watch a video it's downtime it's like ah i can't I can't because they'll see me can't do it oh, I'm no professional not a single break i guess this is the break thing come over here play that light game like, press the button <laughs> you're like why are you misusing equipment ah so uh, obvious uh, let me show you let me show you maybe you can get it maybe you can get it <laughs> at the light of the right time like the, oh, that's good. and then this guy's like absorbed in the game <laughs> <laughs> you just rope him into your addiction and then bridge operational readiness you know plummets plummets uh -huh. shouldn't have been such a weirdo stop watching mm -hmm. what i'm doing yeah, yeah. 